Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we get to take on HIFK. Um, well, Helsing, Helsing Boars or something like that. I think that's the name of the club. But anyhow, um, we did, like I said, we did have to go through and switch a lot of people around. Um, uh, Rins gets his first start. Heighton and I moved over to the middle along with Ryson and Granholm. I can't do anything with them right now and substitute them out. Um, I did have to kind of play musical chairs here in um, midfield. Wusu gets to start because Hagblom's pretty tired. Um, uh, and Hananen was bitching for playing time, which is fine because he was going to get some playing time here. And uh, Harala and Maratonal and Stafsila. Well, Stafsila still, but Harala and Maratonal go back in the starting lineup. Um, Koke Aho is on the bench because he's a little tired. He's a little tired, just a little bit. But, you know, like I said, it, it's this is why we have a team of lots of players and depth. Because you kind of need it. But anyhow, um, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, who the hell needs a fucking... Oh, Lindholm. Uh, like I said, we are kind of like uh, we, we are kind of uh, shallow at the back. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of depth back there. So we are going to have to do some weird shit um, at some point and really try our best. Basically, our defenders are probably all going to be pretty tired, um, which is going to suck. Um, Arins, like I said, he can play both sides. So depending on how, how he is, you know, we can flip-flop people all around here. Haitanen had to come out and er, come in because uh, the other guy, like, fuck, I can't remember his name right now. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, point is, this is this is what we look like right now. Um, which once again, you know, that injury to Robbie really hurts us. And it's just one injury. I mean, now you're starting to see how thin, you know, you could really be you know, the the selection issues. But that's what I like about this game, honestly. I mean, I, those are the challenges that I like. I hate when players are injured. Don't get me wrong, but you know, those are the things that kind of make that make it interesting. I guess, you know, I mean, as much as you hate it sometimes, and trust me, I fucking do, but anyhow, um, you know, we're, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we need, um, we need it, we need another good performance out of this match, I'm not really sure if I really wanted to go with Morato Nal up there, but we, uh, we're, we're going to anyway, um, it's just the, the way it's going to have to be. Um, like I said, we're going to have to rotate. I really prefer rotating strikers, too. I, I believe in that quite a bit, especially if one's misfiring, you know, and give you that chance to substitute players. But anyhow, um, all right. Yeah, see, that that looks that looks pretty good. Seemed motivated. At least one of them seemed motivated. Um, I was going to actually sit in Ermelo, but actually he's a little bit... Um, He's a little bit more uh, refreshed, a little bit less tired. There we go. Those are the words I'm looking for. He's a little bit less tired than, uh, than not Wusu, but uh, uh, Osei. But, um, so, so that's why he gets to start. But although I think I'll probably end up rotating and substituting Osei in there. Maybe for Hananen. Um, just because I... Kind of thinking about having Hananen out there too. Um, I was looking at his stats and he's much more offensive minded. And, you know, he wants playing time. He was, like I said, he kind of bitched about it, which is fine. I mean, like, I just hadn't figured out a way to, you know, work him into it. And we hadn't really needed, um, you know, all that much uh, rotation-wise until now. Because we're, you know, we're playing a game, you know, three games in a week, pretty much. So um, we're going to have to really, really, really work around that. And fortunately, um, you know, midfield's one of those areas where we got a lot of, we got a lot of depth. Oh, that was a fucking terrible pass. What are you fucking doing that for? There we go. There we go. Just fucking do something. Ugh. The first touch was terrible, but he somehow managed that. My God, that should have been a goal. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. That should have been a goal. That should have been a goal. Oh, if his first touch wasn't so bad, he would have had a better chance and probably an open goal, really. But, you know, it is, it is what it is, and here we are. Um, I 
did look at uh I, I do this I, i'm sneaky i went and looked at at um helsing moors and and they're they're uh they're also another another club that is pretty similar in talent um Ooh, ooh! Like I said, they're pretty similar in talent. So once again, you know, another match. That's a good. That's a good test for us. Um, one thing I don't think we're gonna have a lot of this season. I don't think we're gonna have a lot of clean sheets. I should say that now. I mean, I, I'm not. I don't have a lot of comf, com, uh, com, comfort. I won't say comfort. Confidence. I don't have a lot of confidence in our goalkeeping and our defensive pairings right now like i said we're going to be pretty tired at that at the back all season because we're just unable to find bodies to put back there really at least good bodies i mean we can go and find some players that are ugh. but you know we don't have much money and i'm trying to get the best players possible and orens has you know comes highly recommended and not too terrible and he came cheap that's one of the things too. We came cheap. Yeah, so see, that's one of those positions where you get in trouble. You get yourself in the trouble, and there's a goal. God damn it! Yeah, see, you just gotta just had a fucking clarity. Try to be fucking cute with it. Uh, I hate that shit. And now, despite having a good twenty minutes, opening twenty minutes, we're losing. Awesome. Like I said, that defense, I think we're going to at least surrender a goal every match. I really do. I, I think that's going to be pretty standard for us. I don't think we're going to... I don't think we're going to keep very many clean sheets. I really don't. Um, because of things like that, I mean, that was just an, an easily preventable goal, but just because of them being dumb. Ooh. Harala nips it off him, and now this is where it stops. Oh, Harala's showing good vision, and oof, Hananen. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, oh my god! You could have done anything with that, and you hit him in the fucking knee with the ball. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Although I, I do have... I do have, uh, that, that is encouraging signs, though. I mean, very, very encouraging signs. Oh, Jesus. Come on. All these fucking sharp angles. I keep hitting the fucking post and shit. Getting a little annoyed by that. I do have, uh, I do have some, uh, some hope, though, for Harala. I think Harala's, uh, minus that one own goal, he played pretty well, but, uh, I think, I think in general, I think he's going to do us some good up there. And same with Hananen. I wish Hananen was a little bit more versatile and could play on the wings. Because I like Hananen's skill set. It's just in midfield, I mean, it's kind of crowded. and Oh, god damn it. Well, I mean, you know, he's obviously very, very active in the first 30 minutes here. Which is, like I said, which is good. Which is very, very good to see. Um, at least we're creating some sort of chaos up there. Yeah, and Murano Nalo has been kind of uh, lately. I haven't been too too impressed with him. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, turning the ball over like that just irritates the hell out of me. Oh my God! There's another goal. Jesus. And like I said, those those are things like that. I think we're just gonna get overloaded at the back because we don't have we don't have that great defenders. And I mean. Eh. This honestly is the best defensive formation I've made, but it's not the most sound. I mean, you create you know, your opposition's going to have chances here and there where you get stretched. Um, but the whole key is not turning the ball over, really. I mean, as long as you don't turn the ball over with this formation, we'll be fine. But you see chances like that where you know, because our wing backs are up the pitch and stuff like that, and that's also why you have the central, the, the defensive midfielder acting. Oh boy, please, 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 please. Oh, God. I'm going to need a couple beers after this match. Now, do that again. That's the same fucking play that led to the goal. Same fucking thing, and it's going to lead to another goal. Jesus. And that's something, too. Like, your wingbacks in this formation are, are pretty important. You know, and, and they need to be... They need to be pacey and be able to make up ground quite a bit. 
and be assertive. I mean, they can't be kind of, well, you know, trying to play a position game. They need to just go in and do what he did right there and just tackle the ball, get it out of there. You know, um, yeah, evidently their performance has not been good enough. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking piss poor bastards. Anyhow. And I should tell you now, um, our, our philosophy in this campaign is going to be points. Just get, just, just, just get points. Um, ugh, lazy pass right there. Lazy fucking pass. Well, like I said, I mean, this formation is, is built on not turning the ball over. As long as you don't turn the ball over, you're going to be in good position. You're going to be in good shape. Um, but, like I said, just get points out of every match. I mean, you know, really at this point, you know, we have the potential to win this match and get the full three points out of it. But, really, the draw is, is what, you know, is, is good enough. Um, you know, when you, when you play football, I mean, like, like I said, our... My philosophy is always to just get points. Just get whatever points you can get out of the match. You know, whether it's one, three, whatever. As long as you don't lose, as long as you don't lose too often at least, you know, you're you're going to be in good shape. And it's just the way it is. Although, in truth, this formation and then my teams tend to get off to slow starts. So I'm not really too surprised by this. Irritated and upset, yes, because there's no reason to fucking, oh my god. He's just fucking running it. Oh, nah, that's a goal. Jesus Christ. Am I, am I missing shit here? Am I, am I sitting here talking? Alright. Right. Anyhow. Mm. Come on. Do something with it. There we go. That's why we have the wingbacks do what they do. That support. Oh boy. That pass scared me there. I thought that was going to be a Another turnover. At least Hananen's around the goal and stuff. I kind of I like that. I kind of like that a lot, actually. Uh, Wusu, you're our... All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put in Osei and change Nermela and Osei around. Because he's a bit more, he's a bit more offensive-minded. And... Because he's, yeah, his condition is a little low. It's because he got freaking dinged up in a tackle, but yeah, whatever. And you know what? I might actually make. I might actually pull the trigger here in a minute and go with Goke Aho here. I mean, he seemed to be playing pretty well in the last match and moving pretty well, and we're not getting as much movement. I don't think out of Onal. No, oh, Jesus. It's gonna be one of those matches where you just do everything right except for the one part about fucking getting the ball over the line. You know. I mean, you create all sorts of fucking chaos and shit, and just you just can't get it into the back of the net. Like I said, and, and in situations like these where you're down a goal, and you're having one of these days where nothing's, you know, blocks like that, you're getting great strikes on the ball, and you just can't get it in the back of the net. That's when you usually, you know, like I said, that's when I want to take just a point. Just give me a point. That's all I want at this point. I mean, it's just to not lose would be great. Oh, please make him huge. Oh, god damn it. So I say, please make a huge mistake and pass it to my fucking striker right up there. Oh, Jesus. Was that, yeah, it was, it was height. Yeah, I was going to say it was our captain, Heightenen, who made that turnover and led to the goal, too. How do I know that? I was looking at his rating down here. When the rating's low like that, he can... You can tell it's, oh boy. Yeah, I'm going to make that substitution and put Aho in. Koke Aho. Because, man, yeah, El Nile has been poor. Not really moving around. Like I said, he's kind of, he's a bit of a different striker. He's not as athletically gifted, I don't think. And thus kind of just needs a little bit different service. And, you know. I mean, a, a change up front, you know, might as well go with it. You know, it's it's one of those matches, like I said, you know, where you're creating chances from, oh boy, creating chances from midfield and your wingers, you know, with Harala and Hananen. You're just not making bank on any of them. And, you know, like I said, Kokeaho's movement was pretty good in the last match. And I'll see if it can 
Oh boy, almost, almost pulled that off. Ugh. Don't like those sorts of passes. Don't like when they do that little wheel around and float it in there. I mean, especially when you've had a whole, you know, it needs to be ultimately a little bit more support, but you know, it's just, yeah. I mean, you see, you, you do see like when we're back and in position, I don't know if you noticed this, but it, you do see when we are back and in position and having not turned the ball over or, you know, on the break. Oh, God damn it. But, you know, that our defenders are in usually good positions to um, to intercept the ball because we have enough bodies back. We can kind of bog down play in midfield and then intercept the ball, you know, because of the way that the defensive midfielder works and our you know, central midfielders kind of do a good job like that. You know, they do a good job of kind of slowing things down and giving our defenders a chance to to get in front of the attack and and thusly, you know, intercept plays like that. You know, it's just as long as we don't turn them all over and the break happens. That's that's like I said, that's where we're going to concede most of our goals is on the break and and oh boy, not not good enough. The good thing is we still got 20 minutes left in the match. Bad thing is we're still down a goal. And I don't think we're going to get one. Honestly, it's just... It's... Meh. One of those days. Ooh. Kept that in. God knows how. Oh, boy. There he is. Let's say cycle it. Oh, Jesus. It's the bad off-balance shot right there. Yeah, yeah, it is our finishing that's letting us down. Yeah, we've had a good possession. 58% of the possession. I mean, it's not bad. Mm, you yeah. know. Okay, Ajo seems to move around a lot more, too, when you see him moving moving back, coming back to support the play and, and win the ball like he does. He, he He's a lot more active back here, whereas um, Onal is more of a... I'm not saying this in a bad way, but he's more of a poacher where he's standing on this line. And, and waiting for something to happen. Um, what in the hell, man? Seriously, I hate when that shit happens. They just fucking stop. It's like, oh. Ugh. The thing that irritates me the most is when your own players get in each other's way. Oh, God, that pisses me off. He's, oh, yeah, as I say, that pass is late, right? Nah. Jesus. Oh, boy. Good thing is though, you know, it's the good thing is it's a marathon and not a sprint. You know, in, in soccer, so in football, so it's just it's it's not the end of the world if we do win, lose this match. It's ultimately super disappointing and I'm not gonna be happy about it, but especially, you know, the way we were able to put you know to to create chances. Of course, not a whole lot of clear-cut chances, but, I mean, the way we were able to control play. And, oh, you had Harala. That pass is way too late. Way too late. Oh, jeez. It's been this side of the field, too. Or, uh, uh Arins and Heitanen that have been... That have been poor. You know, where they've created in a lot of their time. And their chances and their possession is right down that channel. One of those two. Evidently, Heitanen isn't going to do too well at central defender, but you know, I mean, we gotta we gotta figure out something to do here. Like I said, our our depth at the back is is irritating. Um, oh jeez, what do we got here? Let's just do what we need to do. Uh. Come on. Now I hate when this happens too. You have all those chances and the game bogs down. Oh shit. Good god. At least somebody got it. I thought that was gonna be a second goal, and that definitely would have put us away. Uh, oh what in the hell? There we go. Let's put it on our feet and pass the ball like smart people. And maybe not try those sorts of passes. Yeah, now we're starting to try those long arcing passes for no reason when they're not there. 
when you're switching play to the other side and you have someone open like that, that's when you toss that. Oh, god damn it. For a second, I thought that pass was going to creep through, too. At least Arins is playing a little bit better. As I say, he, I, noticed, I noticed he hasn't been so bad here in the second half. Yeah, I need to go through and, and fucking put together our set pieces. Yeah. And that pretty much does it for us. I, I think that's going to be it. Oh, God. That's, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. We haven't gotten a whole lot of out, of out of our fucking strikers today, and that's kind of, it's kind of frustrating. You look at our shots, you know, 13 and, and 3. I mean, 3 on target, that's, I mean, yeah, they've only got 1 on target, and that was the fucking goal, but, you know, and... You know, it's it's whoever takes their chances. Like I said, we can create plenty. We created lots of havoc over there. Yeah, just fucking get Heighten and out of there. Red card and for all I fucking care at this point. He's been fucking piss poor anyhow. But I mean, it's yeah, it is what it is. Like I said, I mean, at least we get these sorts of matches out of the way early, and you know. I mean, it's you're only three points behind at this point. You know, like I said, it's it's a marathon, not a sprint. And I would be surprised if we have any other super awesome teams in here. Like I said, we've got we've got a lot of parity in this league, so you know you're 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 gonna see everyone kind of get bunched up. I think as long as we're in the mix. And yeah, I need to check it. I need, I'm not sure if there's a playoff spots. Or not in this league. I'm pretty sure there are. Most of them have playoff spots, but just to double check which one. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I mean, that was the kind of fucking day it was, too. I mean, it's just. Frustrating. Absolutely frustrating. But. Like I said, at least you just gotta get these out of the way early and then start fucking playing well. Once again, I mean, it's one of those learning experiences where they're not very good with the formation, and that's one thing that I hate, too. This first season's so hard because, you know, you come in, and even if you don't institute an entirely different formation, they don't know how to fucking play with shit. You know, it's just... It's one of those things where, I mean, it's just such a huge... You're at such a huge disadvantage... Because they're not, you know, the team that you're playing against, they're not playing at, at the same level. I mean, they're, they're, they know what they're doing. They're playing in a formation that they, I'm going to be aggressive and mean. Because I'm a jerk. And so, you know, they'd hop on board with that. Like I said, they seem to be pretty, you know, other, like I've been on teams where you say something like that after they were fucking piss poor and should have won the fucking game. You know, and then they're like, Ugh. But. Like I said, I, I need to go check the the playoff spots and get our set pieces and all that shit squared away so that we can actually be some sort of a threat with set pieces and all that good shit. But anyhow, um, that about does it for this, another super disappointing episode of Football Manager. But anyhow, uh, that is what it is. We'll get better. You know, you won't see this team really get, really get good until... Uh, at minimum halfway through the season like i said my clubs tend to start kind of slow anyhow so i'm not super surprised by this and also this is our first away match too yeah i also didn't really say anything about that this is our first away match and i think the next two or at least the next one the next one is at home so hopefully we can rebound and and put together fucking three points but anyhow um that does it for this episode if you made it this far on youtube you know what to do thanks a lot for watching and remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.